some deep friendships that are being forged as I speak. To, to witness it is just incredible. My book's been written, you know, I, I'm one of those kind of guys, it's not about me or my coaches, it's about what kind of men these guys, what kind of fathers and sons are they Way to go, way to be a football player, huh? Way to go. go. Yes, I was born in a refugee camp. My parents are from Burma. They got a war there going on. My friend had to move to a refugee camp in Thailand to escape the war. And then my parents, Seek of opportunity, they saw opportunity to come to America, they took it. When I came here, I was like about eight, seven or eight. I've learned a manage. First thing is like a lot of change. A lot, a lot of change. I have a lot of friends. On football team, like a lot of my brothers. They were just some friends. They were families. Um, I know they've been through a lot. They have to like some of them don't have parents, some of them doesn't have a place to stay in and it's hard to watch like people like them and to go through the thing that you know I've been through before but we're brought us together we got something to fight for. Like we have a reason to fight, we have the reason to play for, we have someone to play for or some like, on first game like one of my friends came up to me and one of my brother came up to me, his name is Shabit. Uh, he came up to me and he was like, I'm gonna play for you. I, I was <laughs> I was touched and I was really touched like like no one ever said or even mentioned that like he came up to me and hugged me and said I'm gonna play this game for you. It's been a long day without you my friend and I'll tell you about it when I see you again We've come a long way From where we began 
A man with many friends can still be ruined, but a true friend sticks closer than a brother. That brotherhood of love has always been by my side. It is said that the greatest strength of a warrior is always standing next to him, and it has been that strength of my true brother Sean that has helped mold me to the man I am today. My name is Phil Quinlan, and this is an incredible story of love unlike anything I've ever witnessed. I've been involved in the coaching ranks for well over 20 years, including a championship boys basketball team that finished runner-up in the state finals. I've even witnessed the beauty of sport as it truly reveals character, both good and bad. But I have never witnessed such love and compassion for each other than from a special high school football team in Des Moines, Iowa, the men of North. Dear Lord, thank you, Lord, for bringing us here today. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings of today. Thank you for football, Lord. We know this is a game that you love, you appreciate. So, Lord, when, the, when North takes the field tonight, Lord, can, may they hit hard, may they, may they wrap up, may they bring them down, may, may they play with honor, integrity, desire. May they play pleasing in your eyes. Lord, keep these players and the opponents safe tonight. No injuries, Lord. This is a hard game, you know it. We want everyone safe tonight, Lord. Lord, be with us tonight. Be with us the rest of the season. Let us play in a way that glorifies you. But let us play with our heart, desire, passion. May these young men give everything they have here tonight, Lord. It's an honor and a privilege for me to be here with these young men. Be these coaches as they coach, let them coach them up. The players listen. And Lord, I can smell a victory tonight and I can smell one for North. Lord, forgive us for our sins. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful? There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. Anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships. Anybody can be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. The real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. It takes courage to act. Part of being hungry when you've been defeated, it takes courage to start over again. Dear Lord, the battle we go through life. Dear Lord, the battle we go through life. We ask for chances fair. We ask for chances fair. Chance equal our stripes. Chance equal our stripes. Chance to do it there. Chance to do it there. We should win. We should win. Let it be by the code. Let it be by the code. Faith and honor hell high. Faith and honor hell high. We should lose. We should lose. Stand by the road. Stand by the road. Cheers, the winners go by. Cheers, the winners go by. Day by day. Day by day. We get better and better. We get better and better. We can't beat beat. We can't beat beat. Boom, beat, beat. Boom. Game time. Game time. Go hard to go, go home. Go hard to go home. Hey, hey, if you want it, you gotta get it. Hey, you gotta get this. If you want it, you gotta get it. Grind. I can't wait. I know my boys can't wait either. Here's where they're at right now. They've been going all summer. It's game day. It's time to put on the lid, strap up, be the real man. Now we're gonna see where the team's gonna really shine. One name, one team, baby. It's game time. Life's this game of inches. So is football. Because in either game, life or football, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, Every minute, every second. <laughs> On this team, we fight for that itch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that itch. We claw with our fingernails for that itch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that itch. And I know if I'm going to have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing 
to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now I can't make you do it. You got to look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now I think you're going to see a guy who will go that inch with you. You're going to see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're going to do the same for him. That's the team, gentlemen. And either we heal now as a team or we will die as individuals. As football guys. That's all it is. Now, what are you going to do? Never give in. Never give in. Never, never, never. In nothing, great or small, large or petty, never give in except to convictions of honor and good sense. Never yield to force. Never yield to the apparently overwhelming might of the enemy. Never, never, never. And every one of you got to understand you deserve success. And the only way you get respect in this world is you got to go get this respect. Bro. You need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in the man next to you on both sides. I feel everybody wrong. And all the dedication we put in, working out since January, be here all the time, every day. Hey, excited, time to play a football game, tired of beating up on each other, we're ready for a game. The day, Hayes in the barn, time to serve it up. It's gonna be breakfast today. I'm Calvin, single van, single farms out of Grant, Michigan. And uh, I'm here today just to give back. I've been blessed by God abundantly. Uh, throughout my whole life and I'm a vegetable farmer it's what I do for a living and uh, I've been friends with the Quinlan's for a few years and I believe in what Sean Quinlan's doing here at Des Moines North uh, he's a tremendous man tremendous individual tremendous motivator and he's changing lives here at Des Moines North so I just want to be a small small part of it. made the trip out from Grant Michigan about an eight, eight hour drive happy to do it and we have about uh, 500 pounds of fruit and vegetables in these bags and we will distribute that after the game tonight and it's just a pleasure just an honor to be here looking forward to the contest and uh, go north but you know what i'm here to say that this means something you know what this is bigger than work See, I came here for war, so let's get this thing poppin'. I'ma finish what I started, cause quitting's not an option. As I sway from side to side, my heart beating in my chest. Here's the moment of truth to put these naysayers to rest. They said I couldn't do it, I've been called an underachiever.